Democrats were relying on the youth vote, also the women, but those votes either didn't come out strong enough for her or, you know, I mean, particularly when you look at the youth vote, Yep, sure, it looks like the Democrats won college-educated women, but not necessarily young men. Young men absolutely um, ran a mile from the Harris campaign. And, you know, I think the Democrats have to only themselves to blame for this, you know. And this happens every year, every cycle, but it's been happening more and more recently. You know, the left has become, uh, you know, a very feminized party, you can say, you know, well, with all, a lot of their policies are concerned about abortion rights, reproductive rights, all of that sort of thing. But also, you know, the talk about things like toxic masculinity, um, you know, and the sort of attacks on just sort of the male gender as kind of this sort of problematic sort of idea. And so guys pick this up. They're not stupid and they feel like they're not welcome. And so, you know, they look, what does Donald Trump have to offer? Well, you know, he's got Joe Rogan, Dana White, and, you know, he's making them feel welcome. So it's like a no-brainer for young men, but also, you know, women also, I think, felt fairly patronized by this this whole campaign of Harris because it sort of talked to them, talked down to them like, oh, you know, you need our protection and so on. And I think it was quite patronizing to some of them who said, you know, actually, there are more important issues. Uh, I'm not just concerned about, you know, your particular radical interpretation of, you know, there should be abortion for all 40 weeks of pregnancy, you know, which a lot of women find quite horrific, but also, you know, that like women like everybody else have to live in the real world with grocery prices and gas prices and food prices and everything else. And they said, you know what, this is not working for us. We need to go back to where things were before. I think, as I just said a moment ago, the Democrats tried to make this all about personality, all about Donald Trump as a man. That's what they fought against. Whereas Trump was fighting on policy issues, and the most critical of which that we saw from the exit polling was the economy. And, you know, just like in Australia, the mm -hmm. United States is going through a cost of living crisis. There is a sense that the economy, that people were better off under Donald Trump when he was last president. They're not happy uh, with how things are going at the moment. You know, surely not all of that uh, is necessarily the fault of Biden, but, but Donald Trump did lay out strong economic policy plan. And this was one of the main issues, the biggest issue that voters supported Trump over. I, you know, that's the thing. He articulated plans. He talked about things he wanted to do. He talked about things that were unpopular, like tariffs with economists and, you know, the sort of people who make opinion and things like this. But people understood what he was talking about. And something a voter uh, told me in California really struck me. He said, you know, one candidate doesn't tell you anything. The other one tells you what they're going to do or what they want to do. You might not like it, but at least you know where they stand. And I think, again, Kamala Harris just left the field vacant. She came out with Beyonce and Cardi B and a bunch of, you know, second-rate celebrities. And, you know, big deal. But that doesn't affect anybody's, you know, price of groceries. And it was from the start with Harris. It was a vibe election. It was it started out with joy and then, oh, J.D. Vance is weird and all of these different sort of emotional triggers and pulls, but nothing that actually was practical. Yeah, indeed. And, and how embarrassing was that moment, by the way, when Cardi B got up there, she didn't have her speech and everyone had to wait for a full minute or more until her, she got her speech because she, she just couldn't read, she couldn't yeah. speak without having a teleprompter. So, you know, not even the celebrities work for Kamala Harris. Uh, James Murray, you're doing a terrific job and you've pulled an all-nighter. So thank you very much for joining us. All right, for more coverage now, let's bring in former...